Welcome back to Diesel Dave's uh, YouTube channel. This is a little update of my railway at the moment. Um, I have been popping around with a few items on here, but nothing major. Still coming up with some ideas what I can do. Uh, as you see, the first bit is exactly the same. The Class 66 sitting in the station, uh, waiting to be refilled. A uh, few cars on the bridge, and that looks really good. Especially with a homemade uh, uh, bankman on this side, just made out of polystyrene. Really quite impressive, it really blends in well. So if you come through this way, this is where the arches are. Uh, Give you some idea, that's my Class 66 sitting out there. A little bit of weathering and a bit of shrubs, a bit of graffiti started doing on the bridges and that. So it's still more to do. Uh, got a signal there. Then we go up to the uh, double crack crossing. I put barriers on one side because that's nearly that side done. Uh, if we see, we've got a sign over there. The gate's down now, so nothing can come out of the warehouse. Like last time, when the security guy left the gate up, and there was a car at the top taking some bits and pieces out in my other videos. Right, we've got, uh, we've got the old warehouse there. And then we got the network rail, network now maintenance depot shed there. So still looking at ideas, what I can do. There's still a lot of weathering, but you can see some of the weathering and bits of grass really done. That's great. We've got a tunnel entrance here to finish off. That goes uh, out. That's quite. So you've got the main line tracks, and that's one we've done earlier on. So you see the ballasting bits and pieces on there. So it looks quite nice. And the grid things on the rails just make something a little bit different. Like I say, I've got barbed wire to go on that when we get five minutes. So that's looking um, ready to go because that's dried out. It takes a while for it to dry out before you can actually do it. Right, moving forward. Now we've got this lane here. Like I say, a bit of ballasting along the main line there. What I've done last yesterday, I decided to do away with the bridge on this entrance here. Still need to put a, a barrier on the top there, so the train's coming down. But like you see, you can see my class 56 sitting on the top there. It looks quite impressive. So if I go down a bit, I see I guess there, I hope um, it's not too shaky too much. But it gives you some idea what it's going to actually look like from the bottom. So once the rail goes on there, um, and then when the train goes, it does look quite impressive. So instead of having like a... I'm going back up again, sorry about the shakiness. Um, yes, so when we had it before, it was straight out as you look at the road. Now I've actually changed it a little bit to make it a bit modern. So what I've done on the right hand side, I've um, brought the bank out. So I'm gonna think of something I could do around this bit here. So there's a little bit of room to work with. Like I say, on this side, there's nothing, but like I say, there's an entrance there takes you up to the platform underneath the bridge. So I'm going to try and think of something I can come up with. But like I say, this looks great now because I've cut this bit out on the left-hand side. So that needs to be uh, weathered and rock-faced up and then the road goes round. So it looks more realistic. I put a light underneath the tunnel now because that's quite impressive because you can put a car underneath there and it's light up. So it does look good. Anyway, going on the top now, like I say, not much going on down this way, but still the same. Um, still a bit more weathering, a bit more ballasting, but uh, we're getting there gradually. Over the far side, you see my Class 24. It's got two fish spot, blue spot wagons there waiting to go out. So that's coming overnight. So then look down my DCU railway line on the left-hand side. Uh, I've got an oil tanker down there and a brake. I'm just about to come down and have a look. Yes, I've got an oil, an oil tanker and a brake car there sitting there. So that looks quite impressive. Uh, with the signage over the back, and that's probably weathered. I've just got to uh, do the road now to make the road a little bit even more interesting. At the moment, just plain and black. I need to upgrade it a bit to make it nice. Over the far side, you've got the main line that comes down. 
So when you've got the two uh, main lines coming down, one pulls off and it takes you into the station. This gives you another idea of what the back over looks. I've done like a 3D effect with the actual fencing. If you look at the fencing, it's not uh, right against the, my back layout. It's pulled forward a bit because it gives you a, a, like a 3D effect. And that actually got barbed wire all the way going along it. And then they've got another effect when it comes into the platform. So you've got the barbed wire fence at the back and then you've got the, f the fence on the platform. Still waiting for ideas for a name for my platform. So if you come up with any, feel free to uh, to comment or um, come up with any suggestions. That is my Strood Maintenance Depot. Um, not much going on there. There's no trains in at the moment. As they come along the side here. Still got the uh, speed camera there and the ambulances. Uh, not much really happening there. I did uh, find out it was update. It was um, it was an old man who fell down the stairs. That's what the ambulance was there for. So I found that update. But like I say, we're hoping that will be cleared up and the road gets back to normal again and we can open it up. I see the dad up the top there taking his uh, daughter. It actually is his daughter taking her for a walk because she can't sleep. So he's taking the pushchair out. Give the wife a bit of a break and I thought he'd go out for a little stroll. Anyway, um, so if we look around the top, we're going to swing right round and look right up to the line. Gives you some idea. You might see the class 56 in the distance and the class 24. And over the far side... You got the class 66 so like i say i'm getting there gradually still in progressing so if you like it thumbs up and subscribe and see how my journey's gonna go so all i say to you take care and i'll see you soon bye